Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. Want to talk about hook angles and why they're important. This is a saw blade. A hook angle is defined several different ways. You measure it like that with a line across the middle. It's the angle at which the saw tip enters the material. Uh, if it enters it point down, then it's a positive angle. If it enters it point up, it's a negative angle. This is important for an awful lot of reasons. Depends on the type of material that's being cut. If you're cutting something fibrous like wood, uh, a positive angle with a shearing effect is good. A lot of times with plastic, if you're worried about chipping the plastic and whatnot, they'll enter, it'll enter at a negative angle and kind of, kind of, kind of slide into it. Um, it's also important for safety reasons. You don't want kickback. You don't want to be hitting the chest with a flying piece of material, particularly something sharp. Um, a positive angle grabs, tends to grab the wood and pull it. A negative angle has a tendency to push the wood. So keep that in mind. This is about the post on the guy trying to cut aluminum, wants to cut aluminum extrusions on a table saw. You can, but if you use the standard aluminum cutting with a negative hook, there's a real danger of that piece of extrusion being thrown, um, perhaps at the operator. Uh, this is why on the, on the post, we recommend a positive hook, which is usually a woodworking hook, but a positive hook because it'll help, it'll help grab the material and hold it down. In any case, cutting anything, uh, cutting anything anywhere, particularly at a table saw, you really want to hold it down and you really, really want to keep your fingers out of there. Use a push stick, use push blocks. Pay a couple hundred bucks a piece for a real fancy adjustable etc. set. Make your own out of wood scraps, which is what I do. But anyway, a little bit about hook angles, why they're important, uh, and how they're important. Thank you. Bye.